Okay, so I'm working on this little hack uh, for the uh, Miniverse kitchen. I'm trying to set this up so that I don't have to constantly pull it out and change the batteries. Um, I don't know how about how long batteries last in there. I haven't put any in there yet because this is brand new. Um, but I know that I'm trying to get this set up so that I, I'm not going to want to pull everything down and put it back constantly. So I got this product on Amazon and, and I will uh, leave a link in it for it somewhere. <laughs> Hopefully that you can find pretty easily. But this is the product. And it's basically to replace your battery operated items with a plug so you don't have to keep replacing batteries so what it comes with is this plug and then it has this plug adapter that you slide right down on into there like so it comes with a couple of batteries so there's different ones there's ones that replace two there's ones that replace three and there's ones that replace four. So this is the one that replaces three. So there's two dummy batteries there. And this is a dummy battery with a wire. So this is the one that turns your battery area into the plug. So they've created it so that it's this nice thin little uh, wire so that you can still close your battery compartment. So what we're going to do is uh, you're supposed to test to see if you need all three batteries in there or just the one. So we're going to try this out. Put that in there and put uh, that in there. Okay, now I'm going to plug this in. Okay, now I'm going to plug this in, and we'll see if this actually works. Okay, I think I have it turned off. Let's turn it on. Okay, not seeing it come on. So I think I might have them in the wrong space. Nope, this one came out. There, let's try that. Ah, there we go. It works. So I'm gonna leave that going and see if it stays on for the full five minutes before I actually close everything up just to make sure that it works right. Okay, so that did work. So you do need all three in there because it tells you to test if you need all three of them in there. So yes, you do need to put all three and make sure they're pushed in all the way. And then this can go right back in place. And that is so thin that it can just be right there and it doesn't have any problems there. Okay. All right. So I love the fact that it does come apart here so I don't have to run this whole cord through something. So I'm gonna cut a little hole in my wall over there so that this can run out. And then I never have to change my batteries again. So yay. <laughs> Hopefully this helps you guys, but I'll show you a clip when I'm done. Okay, there she is. She's all installed and I will never have to take that apart again unless I just want to redo the kitchen, which might come at some point, you know, in the future. But for now, I'm really loving how it's turning out. And, you know, there's still some tools out and I'm fixing to switch out that doll and I've got a lot of stuff setting in its places, but not actually put up and installed. So just waiting for that. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video and got a good idea from this. I hope it helps you out.